Hey guys, this is Mark here from PFT and as you can see, I am inside Premiere Pro. Now this is my go-to editing software. I use this for all my videos and things like that. Of course I do dabble in After Effects and things like that, but Premiere Pro is a kind of main workhorse um, where I get all my editing done. Now I think it's best for productivity to really customize your own workspace. So for example, when Premiere Pro comes, it looks absolutely nothing like this. And that's because each of these things is a window. So yeah, uh, you can see up here, uh, this, this is for example, my project window. So you can see I have some clips here. This is from a tutorial I just saw, uh, I just shot that you probably just saw. Then I have my effects tab where I have the effects and the effects controls, my audio clip mixer and my program window. Now this is very specific to what I do and this is just kind of how it works out best for me. Now I do have a fairly big monitor so that allows me to have plenty of space down here in the timeline and it also allows me for enough height to get a fair amount of clips in here and I really like them set out like this. I used to have it with just the name set out but um, I really do think that having the um, the picture just kind of makes things faster. It allows me to find clips a lot easier. So I'm just going to walk you through um, what I chose as my kind of uh, setup and also show you how to do this with yours. So um, I basically removed this tools uh, menu from down here. It's originally next to the timeline and um, putting it up here just declutters a lot of space. There was also another audio panel down here which I have no use for considering I have the clip mixer which uh, you can see there plays the sound at the bottom and you can really quickly and easily um, change the, the volume. So um, here we have my, uh, as I said, my, my project tutorial, uh, sorry, not, yes, project is called tutorial. I don't know why I was reading that up there. Um, this is my projects tab which just shows you all the files that you've imported into your project. Um, and I have, I believe, on the smallest setting, uh, you can kind of bring it in and out, but I just had it um, on a size that I liked um, about there where you get a nice size of the picture and I like it too wide. It allows me to fit quite a lot of things in here and I can scroll up and down fairly easily. Now, um, this what this allows me to do is easily drag and drop over to there. I like having it on the left of the timeline. Usually I have a lot more clips in here. Now next to that, um, I have the effects tab. So you of course have the search at the top where you can easily search or you can go through the different things. This is really handy having this right next to the video and always open. And um, it means, for example, I need to flip a video. Um, sorry, I spelled that wrong. I just do flip and you can see you've got horizontal. If I want to use warp stabilizer, um, you can see it's right there. Um, there's so many different things if I want some transitions. Um, it's really easy to access um, and it's really quick having it right above there. And next to that is the effect controls. So as you can see I have warp stabilizer on. Um, this is really nice to just go through and edit um, your effects and it's it just kind of makes sense to have it next to the effects window. Um, as I've said, uh, I just have the audio clip mixer. Now I would just like to say most of these, um, as you can see the windows can have more than one panel in them but I, I like to keep everything in view at one time. I don't like to have lots of different panels and as you can see here at the top you actually have different spaces that you can move into and um, so that's my color correction space and back to the editing one so um, I'd much rather flip between spaces than constantly having to keep um, editing uh, or changing between the panels so here I have the uh, video playback so I just keep this as big as it is um, for the height of the timeline, if that makes any sense. So for example, if I was to move this any wider, the picture doesn't actually get bigger um, because of the height of it. So um, I like to just keep it like that. Um, I don't know why I have it in the top right, there's no real reason. That's kind of where it comes automatically with Premiere Pro and I kind of got used to using that. So um, that really is about it for the tour of my Premiere Pro, but um, for those who don't know, um, I'm just going to show you kind of how to move things about and how to get your kind of custom look. Now, for someone like me who uses this a lot, I would say 
definitely trial and error um, go through different uh, combinations things like that see what fits for you because if you're spending many hours working in this um, you really want to kind of get the, the most efficient workflow as possible so here you can see the Windows tab so these are all the ones I have checked if you want to add any of these uh, for example history you just check that and it will add in right there and um, of course I don't want that so I'm gonna delete uh, no I did the wrong thing there uh, sorry you want to do close panel and of course that's gone and rearranged everything uh, there we are back to normal so that is how you open a new one if you want to close them as you saw simply do close panel uh, to move things around all you do is click on the name and drag it across and this is a really nice kind of system so you can see here dropping it in the middle adds it to this panel so now it is next to effects controls and um, so this is useful for some things but as I said I don't like to switch between panels moving above kind of it's it's fairly um, intuitive uh, you can move it to the side as I had it before um, you can move it below anything like that uh, you can even move it above everything um, which I guess is kind of interesting but um, yeah I keep that to the side it's really easy um, and nice to set up I like how Adobe have made it so simple um, to do and uh, yeah that's really it it's a very basic thing I know I've spoken for way too long so apologies for that but um, I do tend to ramble on a bit in these tutorials so to be honest I didn't even teach you that much in this video but I think it was kind of nice to show you how my setup works I'll try um, I'll move my webcam up a bit there so you can kind of see uh, how everything is in this bottom corner it's fairly uh, basic as it kind of comes stock so yeah um, uh, apart from that there is nothing really to say as I said again I've dragged this out way too long apologies for that but I really wanted to get a video out for you guys and I thought this was a kind of interesting topic so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please give it a like share and why not subscribe to my channel for more content if you've got any questions or want some more advice leave it in the comment section down below or email me at the address in the description once again thank you very much for watching see you